all of you wonderful people of the internet. I am PeaceGoes101 and today I am showing you guys my speed art of my miraculous ladybug, ladybug dot art painting. Yes! Ha! Huh. Okay. So, basically what this is, is it's a painting of ladybug from miraculous ladybug, like my favorite cartoon ever right now. Just saying. And pretty much dot art is painting, but just with dots. So it takes a long time to do! Um, so anyways, um, in the video you can see me using a stencil, which I made, kinda. Um, and pretty much all I use it for is just to get the basic outline of the character, just so I know where everything goes. You know, you don't want an ear on her arm, you know? That would uh, just be weird. And then everything else is done by eye, which is the most frustrating and annoying part especially with the face, which you will see later. The face is very derpy in the beginning, which is annoying, but don't worry, I fix it and it actually looks good in the end, which you probably already saw at the beginning of the video when I grew you guys. Mm. Um, so, you may be wondering, Pink, why are you doing a painting? And why is there a speed art of it? Well, curious little one, I shall answer your question right now. So basically, I've had this little idea for a little while that I should open up a little Etsy store, all the littles, it's very little, <laughs> um, where I would sell dot art paintings of anime characters, cartoon characters, characters, you know, all the sorts, very cute. And I would basically sell them on little canvases like the one I'm using, which is very flat very easy to package and ship which is always amazing and it's also really good to paint on because usual like regular canvases they like they don't really have anything supporting the back of them and I imagine because I use a bamboo stick to do the dotting I would probably poke a billion holes in it which would be frustrating but I don't have the problem with this one so yes anyways um so yes, everything is dotted, and if you really feel up to it, you can actually stroke the painting and feel the dots of the paint. Um, but yes, I, I basically have came up with this idea so that I could have some kind of way on the side to fund cosplay, because, you know, it's, it's, it's really good for depression and all that. You know, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but it's true, and also I can make more videos because I haven't gotten really like into cosplay lately um, and apparently I'm actually a pretty good female Sean Noir cosplayer so I don't know I'll have to do some videos about it I keep forgetting to but I will remember one day one day I will remember yes and one day I will get way better actually doing commentary because wow I'm sucky this is like the fourth time I'm doing this one I'm getting so sick and tired of doing this! Oh. Anyways, um, look, I'm actually filling it in right now! See, I am, I'm, I'm, I didn't really, I wasn't really even looking at what I was doing, um, as I'm commenting this right now. And now, you can see, when I'm filling in the middle section, the dots are further apart, and you must be thinking, <laughs> she's being lazy, isn't she? No, for once, I'm not being lazy. It actually has a purpose. So what it does is the dots, when they're closer together, forms the shading part of the coloring. Coloring, color, I don't know. But when the dots are further apart, it's the highlighting part, which I will eventually get better at doing. Um, just cut me some slack here. This is the first time you're doing this technique, okay? Thanks. Um, I have done dot art paintings before. I have um, four on my wall right now in my room, which I will be doing a room tour soon when I, you know, finish it. When it's done. Um, who knows when that will be. But the the shading and highlighting is, like, you see it way, way better on the red. It shows up amazing on the mask. Like, oh my god. As soon as I start putting down the red, it just, like, it just blows everyone's mind. They're just like, whoa! Well, 
everyone in my head's mind, okay? <laughs> but I'm getting way too ahead of myself, aren't I? I should probably pay attention to what I'm actually doing. Huh. So, anyways, ooh, I should probably talk about the shop. So, I plan to sell most likely the original prints or the original um, artworks on the shop. It basically depends on how well my scanner can scan the paintings because if they scan them pretty well then I could also probably do prints of them but you know you never know because I have a very bad scanner because it's very old and when you make it a new one yay um, but it also opens up the opportunity to do commissions of original characters and all that um, so it's, it's still all very up in the air um, right now so there is no store so don't be like in the comments why is the one to the store I don't I haven't made it yet it's, I'll, I'll, I'll make it once I make maybe two more of these paintings which you guys need to suggest characters in the comments is if you don't I'm just gonna do Shaun Noir okay <laughs> um, but yeah, you can definitely see on the mask the high line technique looks really good because the way the light bounces off of the dots of paint makes it look like the white area is filled with a lighter color of the color, but no, it's just the light tricking your eye. <laughs> Science! Um, yes, so, look, background. Yes, I didn't plan to do one, but you know, once I finish Ladybug, I'm just like, yeah, this is boring. So I put a background in, and you know, the one thing that every Ladybug picture needs is a whole bunch of soccer balls in the background. Yeah. No, they're, they're, it's, it's too miraculous, trust me. Right now they look like soccer balls, but it's it's too miraculous, okay? Um, you, you'll see it when I paint it, but it's too miraculous, Tr trust me. It's, she, I, I don't think, she doesn't even play soccer, so, yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is like, I feel so hyped up on sugar or something, but I haven't had any today, I don't think. I don't remember. I don't remember what I eat. That's kind of, I, I don't think that's a good thing. Hmm. <laughs> um, so yes. And of course, whenever I do a painting like this, I will do a speed video art thing, hopefully with better commentary. <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, um, and pretty much it's just so that people on YouTube can see me doing it, you know, they kind of get the artwork, but also anyone that's interested in buying it can be like, have kind of proof that it's actually, you know, painted by hand, and be like, hey look, this is me, painting it, you know, buy it, you know, buy it, I'm kidding, not really. <laughs> um. But it, it, it's also, I, 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 I just, I love watching like speed art videos because they're so like relaxing. You know, if you have it muted and you don't hear it to someone's very crazy voice who has no idea what they're doing when they're commentating. commentating. Jeez, I should be used to doing this by now. This is like the fourth time I'm doing this. <laughs> I think I'm just going crazy. I think it's due to the lack of oxygen because I'm in my closet recording this and there's not very good airflow in here. <laughs> um, hey look, we're almost done. Hey look, we're done. Huh. I didn't think I did a very good job commentating at this. Oh, well, that's, that's the charm of me, I guess. That's why you all like me, I think. I don't know. I really don't know. But look, it's me showing off to the camera. Oh. Um. So, on the back, you can actually write down information. So, I wrote down the title, the technique, the date, which is actually wrong. Because um, I don't know why, but I derped when I wrote the date because I actually did this on the 29th. But for some reason, I wrote the 28th. So, that's me derping. And look, oh, such dramatic imagery. Oh, my goodness. Look at that garden. It's our fairy garden. And look, there's a painting on the chair in the garden. What? What is this? Yes, this is craziness. What? Um, just getting all the camera angles on this. Wow. And the natural lighting. Oh, 
But this is something you really need to see in real life. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> um, but yeah, once I do open the store, I'll do a video about it. But like I said before, it's when I do more pictures. Um, but who knows, maybe you're watching this in the future and I already have a store and I've made millions of dollars. Ah, <laughs> ah kidding. <laughs> um, so yes, this has been this very, very crazy commentary for a very lovely piece of art, if I do say so myself. I think it's really nice. It's probably the best thing I've done. Um, and I've done quite a few bits of art, if I do say so myself, which is kind of more factual. Um, but anyways, please like and comment, don't forget to subscribe to my account if you want more craziness, and become part of the little family, which I'm trying to name. <laughs> anyways, bye, have fun, you crazy things. You know, you should subscribe to my mama by pressing that big red button, or you could even check out her social media, like her Tumblr, Instagram, or Facebook. They're all linked in the description for you. Mama said that every like equals to a carrot for me. No, I didn't. Don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Go on. What are you waiting for? Click something. <laughs>